This is the beginning screen where you add customers. You have to have customers before you can do anything in the application. So what you need to do is add the customer information and then use that in the scheduling. So let's start out by looking at what you need to do. The first thing you need to do when you come in is, if, is to add a new record for each individual client as you're going to add them. So you would add by clicking new. The next thing you would do, it would automatically assign the uh, customer ID. It'll automatically assign the record date. You would add the customer name, any additional contact, if there's a second contact. You would add the address, the city, the state or province, the zip or postal. You would add in here the type of client. In this case, is it residential, commercial, a contractor, or whatever. You would put that in there, and there could be many different ones. Uh, that there might be. Uh, there is a list that you can pick to go ahead and edit to add so you have these on the scrollers on the iPad. Cover that separately. You would add one or two phone numbers or one or two emails and then comments in this area if you need to add comments about this particular client. Uh, on this area over here this is a portal, multi-line portal. You can click in here to insert a photo from your hard drive if it's on the hard drive. On the iPad it would say to insert from library. On the uh, server, on the, a client app, you do not have the ability to add photos on the server so it has to be done through FMGO on the iPad. Uh, you would automatically get an ID number for, for the all the records for this photo for this particular client so the ID would be the same. On each individual photo that you would add, you would put a description. In this case, I put empty my pond. Now these photos are used if you go out and you're doing progress things like before, after, and during pictures of the project steps for individual projects that you're doing for this client. This is a scrolling portal so you can add as many photos as you need to uh, in this area. As you add a new one and, and click in here and start typing, it'll add the next individual record information and then you can click on this to add the uh, video or still record that you want to put in there. The portal record, when you click on this, will show the portal record in a large view so you can get more information as far as the picture is concerned. And uh, you can go ahead and put comments in here about the individual thing that you're doing for this photo. So, for example, if you're going to empty the pond, you might want to show pictures of how you're doing it through progress so the client would have a record of that and you would also have a record of that. You can use the find and perform find up here based on the individual record ID or the name and so if you click find you could type in any portion of the name if you know what that is of the photo and it would find that photo. Uh, this is an individual photo where the portal record that you saw on the customer screen is all the photos for this customer. So if you go back to the customer screen, by the way, before you leave, make sure that if you're, you picked one, you, that you click show all to return all records in selection. So go back to the customer record and you can also click show all here and it'll show them all as again. Uh, and as like I said before, you can reach at the portal. You have to have data of some sort in the portal before you can click to go see that record on an individual basis. Uh, on the server, if you are trying to do things on the server, you have to, on the cloud server, you have to submit the record to save your changes or and or cancel if you want to cancel those updates on that cloud server. These are primary screens that if you want to move to those different screens, all you have to do is click on the button name for the item that you want to go see and it will take you there. The next usual step is to do the inventory after this and add the inventory. So you have stuff that you can assign to the schedule for this client. Now on the location screen, what the location does is use this drop down to pick this client's address and put that into this field. Then clicking on the location button will bring up MapQuest with that client's information based on the address that you put into the customer screen. And then you would go ahead and if you need to know how to use the this, you can click this video up here to see the video help for this screen. Going back to the customer screen, uh, you can use the next and previous buttons to cycle through the different screens that are available. On this screen, on the text, 
we pasted random text from a website in here and it kept the supported colors and text sizes. This is normally where you put edits and information that you want to do about this particular client. Okay, this should complete this screen. If you have any questions, contact me for additional help if you need it.